due to popular demand, I've made a few videos for N2 Industrial Electronics. To show your appreciation, you can just hit that like button and to share these videos. Now in module two, I'm gonna break up this video into two parts so that the video is not too long. On AC circuit theory, there are a few definitions that we need to know. For alternating current, it is current that reverses its direction many times per second at regular intervals. To draw and fully label a sinusoidal waveform, we have the maximum value, which is the value at the highest peak. The instantaneous value are smaller values occurring at specific instants on the sine wave. To define frequency, it's the number of cycles completed in one second. To determine the average value, it's the average value of all the mid-ordinate values taken over half a cycle. And to calculate the average value, it is 0 0.637 multiplied by the maximum value. To define the root mean square, RMS is the DC equivalent that produces the same amount of heat in the same amount of time. To calculate the RMS value, it is 0 0.707 multiplied by the maximum value. To define form factor, it is the ratio of the RMS value to the average value. This brings us to the first example for AC circuit theory. Now, a waveform is represented by the equation E is equal to 169,8 sine. Inside of the brackets, we have 377, which is the angular velocity in radians per second. Now, remember to convert radians per second into degrees, we multiply by 57.3. In part A of this example, calculate the RMS voltage of the waveform. To calculate the RMS value, it is 0 0.707 multiplied by the maximum value, and therefore the RMS value is 120 volts. In part B of this calculation, calculate its frequency. Now the angular velocity in radians per second is equal to two times pi times F. So therefore, to determine the frequency, it's the angular velocity in radians per second divided by two divided by pi, and that gives us 60 hertz. Now, in the third part of this example, we need to calculate the instantaneous voltage after a time of six milliseconds. In order to do that, don't forget that six milliseconds converted to seconds, we can divide by a thousand or multiply by 10 to the minus three. To convert radians per second into degrees, we multiply by 57,3 inside of the brackets. Therefore, the instantaneous value is 169,8, which is the maximum value, sine, and inside of the brackets, we multiply 377 times 6 milliseconds, and then times 57,3. Therefore, the instantaneous value at 6 milliseconds is 130,8 volts. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned. I'll be posting one shortly for the second part of module AC circuit theory.